Hey, it's Mark Ferguson with Invest For More, and we're standing outside a house flip we've been working on for a while. Um, this is one we bought from a wholesaler. Uh, turned out the back of the house had an addition that was built completely wrong, so we had to rebuild part of that. And then along the way, we also stopped using one of our contractors who was working on this house. But we are now making progress on it. It's getting closer. Um, we did a huge floor plan change on this one, so we'll show you that. And it is on a somewhat busy road which is not great, but um, stuff is uh, still selling on this road. You just have to take that into account when you price the property. Um, we bought this for right around 180, and we were thinking it would be worth around 300 when we're done, but we did not think we'd have to do as much work to it as we have done. So this is one I've done a few videos on, that a lot of you may remember where I asked about floor plan changes, what we should do, what we shouldn't do. But in the before video, when you first walked in, there was an opening into the addition going back that way. So we closed that up, made this your big living room. The kitchen, we changed around as well because the kitchen cabinets used to be over there and we moved them all over here so we could have a little bigger kitchen and have it open to the living room. And we did open up that wall a little bit as well to make it more open too. So we'll show you that part of the house soon. None of the lights are in as you can see, so it might be a little darker than normal, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs> oh, there are th four, three bedrooms, sorry. Three bedrooms, two bathrooms. We put in new windows, new doors, this is the uh, original hardwood that we will refinish. And we just got our bid in to refinish that from our hardwood guy. So for these two bedrooms, all the living room, I think it was $2,400 to sand, refinish, stain, all of that. So he's been really good, done an awesome job for us. Here is one of the bathrooms, which was very pink and very dated before. So we will obviously have a new vanity toilet in there at some point. And the other bedroom here, which used to have a window right there going into a closet, which was pretty amazing. <laughs> and it used to have a door to a little tiny bathroom that went into the addition as well. So we closed all that off, made it its own bedroom. And I would say too, with the hardwood, we've gone through a couple of hardwood guys and there is a big difference in quality between who we've used. Some of them you see stains, um, big gaps just don't look that good, even um, just not consistent colors. But if you find a good hardwood guy, they can really make the floors look amazing. and They're worth the money even if they are a little more expensive. All right, these cabinets are the kitchen compact line from Home Depot. And we used to use these a lot before. They come in really fast. Um, you can be pretty custom with what you want, but not crazy custom. But we stopped using them because they only had kind of the light brown maple, the darker brown birch colors, and we pretty much stopped using those colors. But they just came out with their, as you can see, shaker white. So we can get these now in a more updated style, which is pretty cool. And if you're wondering, the shaker just kind of means like the square, um, outlay, whatever it is, like that. That's what the shaker means, that style. So they had white before, but they had kind of the round tops to the cabinet doors, um, real smooth, just kind of an outdated look. So that's one thing, you know, we've been flipping houses for God, almost 20 years now, which is insane, but styles are always changing. We, we don't try and be the very first people to do things. We don't want to start trends. We don't want to get too crazy, but we try and be kind of up with current styles, but we're not super trendy because a lot of people, right? We're, we want to attract the most buyers we can. And most people aren't going to be at the top of the trends either. Most people are going to be kind of in the middle. Um, so even though, you know, something else might be crazy trendy right now and going, you know, being the most popular things, a lot of times most people won't even know that or won't like that. It takes a year or two for that to sink in like, oh yeah, it looks good. We start seeing that more and more. So that's always been kind of our philosophy. 
Or I'm just lazy and don't feel like changing trends that quickly too. That could be part of it as well. <laughs> All right, so before, this was your kitchen. Uh, we added this doorway to make this hallway, although our first contractor made it a huge hallway. I thought we could get away with it being just as wide as that um, you know, landing right there. He had to add that other landing and leave more room for the master bedroom, but that's what he did. And then this before was just kind of a workroom office and we're just gonna leave it open. So if somebody wants to be use it as an office, if they really want to get crazy and make it a bedroom and they can add a wall, um, we'll let them do that. But for right now, it's just kind of a cool little office study storage, whatever you want to use it as. There is no basement, so one level house. And before, this was all open, so this wall wasn't here. This is all pretty much one big room with kind of a weird little bedroom back there, bedroom slash closet thing with a tiny bath right there. So we came through, we filled in that um, walkway I talked about earlier right there, added the French doors, added the walls in here, added the bathroom right here, which again, I didn't think needed to be this big, but we'll live with it. I thought it could have been narrower and had more space for the master, but it's okay. <laughs> and then this is the gigantic closet. So again, no lights in here, but huge, nice closet. So I'm hoping the master bedroom really sells this house should be a nice feature for someone. And there used to be windows plastered along this wall, and we just took out most of them, and I'll show you the back now and show you what it looks like. We did have to do some siding patches and obviously paint. There's the beautiful garage, which is going to get worked on here soon. Um, it needs a new roof and some siding and some other door. <laughs> it's pretty rough, but we will be able to save it. Huge lot, but it does back to railroad tracks. Again, stuff is selling here, but that's something you really have to consider with value. Has a busy road in front, has the railroad tracks in back, but it also has this real nice shop garage thing, and it has, you know, a pretty big house, another garage up front, which I forgot to show you, but I'll show you. But here, you can see what the back of the house looks like. It's kind of boring now without the windows, but it's the back of the house. I think it's okay. I don't think someone's going to say, oh man, the back of this house is so ugly, I'm not going to buy it. And you can um, see kind of where we patched in the new siding. So we could not find this stuff, but we did come close, just a different texture. And if you get up close to it or really notice it, yeah, it looks different, but I'm fine with it. If I lived here, I'd be fine with it. And hopefully whoever buys it is fine with it because um, we really didn't want to side the entire house. So you can see what it looks like on the outside. And then, yeah, I'll show you the garage real quick since we forgot that part. So we have been doing less flips. I've been talking about that a lot. And um, we've just had a lot of issues and problems with contractors lately. I think we've we still have a few who we've used for a very long time, but we've let go a couple who have worked with us for years and just kept getting more expensive, slower, not listening to us. And unfortunately, over the years, that is just a common theme, a common trend that, you know, guys can be really great, work really well for a long time, and then just kind of decide they don't want to do it anymore or don't want to do the work anymore and you just have to find new people. So it's a constant part of the business, um, finding new people, trying out new people, <laughs> trying to find those really good guys. So we did stop using one of them on this house, and then we have someone else who's working on this house now, who I'm um, just finished up a different house that they did a good job on, they're brand new. So we'll see how that goes too. All right, so that is the property, hopefully here in the next few weeks or so. We'll be done with this one too, get it listed. We have about three other ones as well that we'll be ready to sell in the next week or two, right in the middle of the coronavirus pandemic. Amazing timing, but I think we can still sell stuff in Colorado. Uh, we will be able to um, list stuff and have showings on Monday the 27th, so that is good news. And as far as 
getting things sold. We'll see how that goes. Things have been selling so far, so hopefully that continues. All right, thank you for watching. Appreciate all the comments, the likes, the subscriptions, all that good stuff. If you want more information on real estate, check out investformore.com. I have tons of articles on rentals, flips, being an agent, wholesaling, and I have eight books on Amazon as well that go into all the details on those subjects as well, so be sure to check those out. All right, we'll be back with more soon.